Oh, it says testing YouTube bandwidth still. Alright, it looks like we're on and I don't see anybody watching. So I'm just going to go ahead and start this out. Please just use the sound because I don't have any uh, microphone plugged up or anything. But this is pretty neat. I'm using Wirecast Go. Oh, they're charging. Um, yeah, I got two for you. Here, take these. Anyway, using Wirecast Go and window light, pure window light. Did a photo shoot yesterday. This is my daughter's prom pictures, her and her boyfriend, Dre. And I want to show you guys a few. But first, I want to talk about a few of the modifiers that I use. I actually only use two modifiers. I used a seven foot, seven foot parabolic umbrella and this softbox behind me. Now this softbox behind me, it's about 24 by 24. Um, it should be dry by now, but hadn't used it in a while, so I was uh, cleaning it out, cleaning it, the white part. I'll go ahead and bring that up, and um, I'll go get the uh, parabolic umbrella after I'm done showing it to you guys. And I'm also show you some of the pictures that I took. Here it is. Um, this is actually not on correctly. I was just using it, using this stand to dry it. It just goes over there like this. I'm gonna put it on here like it should be put on here, and uh, kind of set it up. I'm not gonna set it up completely because you normally have a flash in here. But I use an Alien B1600 for my flash. And I showed the, pic the pictures I took using this in a minute. I don't have the camera settings uh, with me right now. So your flash would be on here. And you can put this through here. Like so. this goes over your flash is inside I'm gonna go ahead and scoop this back so you guys can see you guys see that And you just basically close that and you can tilt it a little bit. You're going to raise it up. It's a Westcott 24 by 24 soft box. I'm going to go ahead and raise it up a little bit so I can do some adjustments. And I had it above them. Kind of tilt it down this way. Like that. Up. You can take her anywhere you want to go. That wasn't clean like that before. It was pretty messy before my wife um, suggested using something to. What did you suggest to use to clean it? What was it called? Like a free stain free soap. Get it at Sam's. It's a stain free soap and a you get it at Sam's and I just sprayed it because this had got pretty yellow. It's not as wet as it was when I brought it, but it, it'll work without uh, you having to worry about your white balance getting jacked up. All right. I'm going to show you the pictures that I uh, took with that. And then I'll go downstairs and get the, um, the other modifier. So where are they at? Where are they at? Okay, here they go. Okay. 
That's one. I uh, hope you guys can still hear me. Yeah, it looks like you can. Anyway, I had a, uh, a softbox to the left of him, and the I had a light behind him in that little room to his right. I had meant to make it a uh, red, but it ended up being uh, like a violet, but I still like it. Ooh, let's see. There's another one. There's another one. This was one with Dre and my daughter. What are, you, what are you trying to get? Hold on. Another donut? Huh? I can't hear you. No, you wait. You got to eat real food, okay? Uh, let's see. Here's one. Had a light behind him. These haven't been photoshopped or anything. These are straight out of the camera, so what I would do is probably to the right of his head, you can see, I think that's a flash or something standing there that I would probably get rid of. And let's go on. That's one of Thalia in that same area. Like I said, that blue, that flash is behind her. Give you that violet uh, cast. So here's one. Now what I would do next time on this, I can get rid of it in Photoshop, but what I would probably do is I would um, I would increase my shutter speed and maybe even the f-stop to make that background completely back because you can control the light pretty much with the softbox that you guys saw earlier all right i'm gonna leave it on here and i'm gonna go down to my studio and get my um uh seven foot parabolic umbrella Alright, I am back. And please excuse me looking at the screen. I'm not used to doing this on an iPhone. But here is the seven foot parabolic umbrella. It's, okay, they, they say it's seven foot, but it, it would be seven foot if it was laid flat and you didn't have the curvature of an umbrella. So it's about, see I'm six foot, it's about five and a half feet. You'll see when I uh, open it up. So I'm going to go ahead and take this softbox down. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna turn on this light too. This light looks pretty good, but I think I'm gonna turn on this light. How did that do? Did I just jack everything up? No, it didn't. So we're good. this off and this collapse simply just like an umbrella would. Umbrella. <laughs> See this little thing in here and you can fold this up and just lay it inside and make sure it ain't too dirty in there. What I really need to do is I need to roll this up and um, maybe see if I can get a un uh, uh, rubber band or something on it. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm just going to roll it up and try to keep it kind of neat. Uh, Alright, now that I got it rolled up, I'm going to go ahead and fold this bad boy. And it closes down just like an umbrella. You can probably get something to put around it to keep it tidy, I guess. Now what I'm going to do is, whoa, we're having technical difficulties. I'm going to go ahead and open this up so you guys can see how um, how large it is, especially compared to, to this little, I say this is a, 
This is about a 30 incher umbrella it looks like. It's been beat to hell. That was my first umbrella too. Alright, here we go. Let's see what's in here. Nothing but the umbrella. Alright. This opens up. This is a uh, shoot back umbrella. You can't shoot through it. Um, so you're gonna you put this on a stand, right? You put your light would basically bounce back. They also have uh, the shoot through ones, but I tell you what, this provides a really really good light. I'm gonna show you guys the light that it provides uh, in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a stand. Now, if I'm gonna use this, I really wouldn't use a stand this uh, skinny or flimsy. I would use. I have some impact ones. They're they're pretty uh, heavy duty and. They work a lot better for the weight of this, but we're going to go ahead and give it a try. Just for the sake of demonstration. Alright. So, you have to be careful with this. Let's see if I can get it higher and put it on this uh, stand. Alright, there we go. Okay. I'm going to move it back. So you guys can kind of see the scale of it. And that's it. You guys see it? And you gotta make sure stuff is tightened down. Or this the weight of the, the sheer weight of this will make this start bending. Alright. There it is. Now what I did yesterday was I put my flash, the Alien B 1600 on this, and shot it into there and back. And I actually stood right in front of it and took um, some pictures on the white background. What I'm about to do, I'm going to show you the pictures on the white background that I took. Okay. Well, before I show you those, I'm going to show you a few that I took uh, with just natural light. This this is uh, them giving each other their uh, corsages and, and boutonnieres. Uh, let's see if I can bring up another one. Uh huh. Thought these were pretty neat. There you go. You can see that <laughs> the, the smaller umbrella to the right, but we'll get that out later. Okay. Here's a white background ones that I uh, took. These are I like these too. And that was from standing in front of the light. And just shooting it straight on. You can see the catch light in their eyes. Let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Yes, I can. Let me scale up. You can see it. Like I said, these are right out of camera. I'll probably do some sharpening on that one. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Uh, here's another one. I'll zoom in for you guys. Yep. Are there any more over here? Is Did I show you this one? Make them a little bit smaller. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go find my most favoritist one, if that's even a word. I hope I included it. And it's this one right here. Because it got it got her really, really well. When I enlarge this. And you got her dress too with that light in the back. But that was with a uh, soft box. Okay. Well, that's it, folks, for this, uh, I guess, it's not a tutorial, but just talk about uh, light modifiers. Like I said, once again, I use the 24 by 24 Westcott softbox um, with the NEMB 1600 for a few pictures. And I also use this 7-foot parabolic umbrella for the uh, white background shoots. If you've got any questions, comments, or suggestions, be sure to leave them down below. And once again, please excuse the audio and the lighting. I'm actually using a window, a big old window. It's a, it's a dirty window, which provides great diffusion material. 
uh, for this. All right, until next time, take care.